हाई एवरी वन दिस इज शिवानी हियर वेलकम टू माई चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशन आर यू एक्साइटेड टू सी वॉट इज टूडेज प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज द क्यूट शेकर बॉक्स फॉर वेलेंटाइंस डे एंड इट इज हैविंग मैग्नेटिक क्लोजर सो इन साइड दिस आई हैव क्रिएटेड सुपर क्यूट टाइनी माइनी स्क्रैप बुक और यू कैन से फोटो एल्बम एंड कैन यू सी हाउ tiny it is in the size super cute can you see the cute couple on the top so without any further delay let's start with the procedure so here i am taking some circles and borders so i have cut the cute couple using this die from dress my craft and after cutting it will look like this i have just colored the dress of boy and girl using some colors and for skin i have used watercolor and also colored the green portion using green watercolor and we need some circle cutouts two in pattern paper and one in white color cardstock and the diameter of this circle is 6 cm and also we will be needed two scallop borders you just need to cut the circle and for edge you can use zigzag scissors to cut the scallop and also we need these type of reinforcement holes to make the scrapbook and for this i have used this reinforcement hole punch by dress my craft and you will get two designs from this punch one in circle and one in hexagon so today's project i am using circle one only and if you don't have this punch i will show you one quick method how to make these holes easily just take one piece of paper and cut one circle here i am cutting the circle randomly but you need to do it properly just by tracing from any circular bottle so that it will be in proper circle shape and then after cutting your circle you just need one hole punch machine so just put your punch machine exactly in the center and punch it so in the same way you will get this kind of ring to hold your scrapbook pages so this is one easy alternative idea now i will combine everything to create our cover page of the scrapbook so take the plain circle add these two circle rings on top from front and back sides then taking my couple cut out and i'm just trimming this top hanging because we don't need this add glue and connect with one of the pattern paper circle for today's project i am using nutty buddy pattern paper by dress my craft but you can use any pattern paper related to valentines day or any floral print or any polka dot print then i am just covering it from edge using this golden scalloped border just burnish everything very well using bone folder then i am taking one more white color scallop edge and adding on this pattern paper for each page i have taken the cute creatures from the pattern paper pack so that each page will look nice and cute now i have just stuck the front page with one side of white circle and connecting this another sheet on the other side of white circle and our front page is ready now to make the inner page again we need two pattern paper circle and one plain circle and i'm just repeating the process so our page is ready burnish it very well and in the same way i have prepared total four pages so we have four pages and one front page and this is the back page 
which is made using the same process as front page. So all the pages are done. Now I'm just decorating the page using some tiny hearts. I'm not decorating each page because there should be some place to add photograph and some place to add the messages. And on back side of the last page, I have added this cute cupid. For this, I have used this one and half inches cupid punch by Dress My Craft. And I have given one cute heart on the hand of cupid. Now it's time to construct the scrapbook. So I'm just taking one keychain ring and passing the last page through this first. You can also use card rings. Then passing the remaining pages in the same process and also the front page. So everything is passed properly through ring and this is done. Our cute scrapbook base is ready. You can add lots of photos or you can write some personal messages. Then here I am taking some ribbons according to the Valentine festival like in pink shade, red shade and just passing it through the ring. Gathering all together and tying one knot using pink color polka dot ribbon. Just make a double knot to secure this properly. And I am just trimming it little bit. And our scrapbook is ready. Then I'm taking this white sheet which measures 12 by 17 centimeters, and from all four sides I have creased on 2.5 centimeters. Here I'm making the box for our scrapbook. Now I'm cutting all four sides from corner like this so that we can construct the box. Then fold each side and burnish it using bone folder. Add glue on the folded part and just make your box. So the box is ready. Now for the lid, I am taking the sheet which is 20.5 by 13 centimeters. Just put your box on this and I am just folding from one side little bit and according to the size or shape of your box, you have to fold this top sheet. I have kept 0.5 centimeter gap from both the sides and the lid is very simple. Now we just need to stick our box on one side of the lid also sticking this small folded part and securing it Now I am making the closure so here I am taking red color tacky tape connecting in the front part and adding two magnets on both the sides 
If you don't have magnet, you can also use ribbon to close your box. So just putting magnets like this. Now close your box, align it properly and on top of this I am adding two more magnets. It will automatically get the exact position according to the below magnets. But I am feeling these magnets are little top so I am adding one more tacky tape piece and sticking these magnets little below. It will work more perfectly. Now again closing it and connecting the magnets. Now it's perfect. Then to stick the top magnets also I am using some small pieces of red tacky tape and sticking these two magnets. And the closure is perfectly done. Now I am going to decorate the box using some pattern paper strips. In the same way we need to decorate the lid, the box from inside using pattern papers from all the sides. So after adding pattern paper the box is ready. And now here I am making the top using shaker technique and can you see the beautiful border which is a love border I have added here and this is from the newly launched slimline border die by rest my craft this is a mini die and I am just loving it very much on back side of this border I have already attached the acetate sheet and on the edge I have added double sided foam tape for little dimension now I am filling this using some pink color flower pearls some glitter dust and some white color flower pearls now just remove all the liners and stick your box with this from the top And the cute shaker top is ready. Yeah, I just love this. Now I'm starting with the flower making. For this, I'm taking eight petal flowers and coloring the center using vibrant fuchsia archival ink, spraying little water and shaping it using small size groove golf tool. Just rotate the flower pinch in the center using ball tool and assemble the flower by adding all the layers. For the center of the flower I am using white color flower pearls. So this is done in the same way I have already prepared some more flowers and some buds. I will show you how to make the bud or fill a flower. For this I am taking small size of flower. Pass one wire pollen through this. Add little glue. And this is done. Super easy. Also, I have some pre-cut leaf shapes. 
Now take back your box. In the center I am adding this cute sentiment I love you. This is a banner or frame die. I am adding on little top side of the box. And then on the left and right sides of this banner I am adding cute cupids using the same punch which I have shown earlier. I just added some glitter on top of this and colored them using watercolor. On back side of the cupid also I attached double sided foam tape for little dimension. So it's just looking like they are holding the banner like this from both the side. And now in the bottom, I am going to add my handmade flowers. Like this. Also, I have decorated the cute scrapbook using these handmade flowers. I'm just loving it very much. This is super duper cute. You can add small size photographs and write some personal messages on this. And our box is also completely dry. I have filled the box from inside using some tiny origami hearts. And then I'm putting the scrapbook inside this you can also put the chocolates because there is lots of space inside this or you can add small gift as well so that's it for today see this is so tiny this is smaller than my hand and it's super cute so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching see you next time bye bye